Tashtile, this is Sakina Bhatt and welcome to Tibet This Week. A weekly news on Tibet, His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Central Tibetan Administration. Let's look at the headlines. His Holiness the Dalai Lama wishes PM Modi on his birthday. China denies medical care to detained Tibetan in Zhao Enpo. Sikyong Pembetsiring concludes visit to CTSA schools. UN experts question China on whereabouts of Go Sharab Gyatso and Rinchen Sultrin. Tibetan Buddhist scholars present results of psychophysiological on Buddhist meditation at World Congress of Psychophysiology. Office of Tibet Washington DC convenes 19th North America Tibetan Association Conference. Secretary Tashi Dhundup requests Dr. Andreas Pinkwart to persuade China for Sino-Tibetan dialogue. Tibetans celebrate PM Modi's birthday with vaccination drive. This morning, His Holiness the Dalai Lama wished India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi a healthy life on his 71st birthday. In his letter, His Holiness congratulated Prime Minister Modi on the growing confidence he has brought about despite challenges such as the COVID-19 pandemic that has affected people around the globe. His Holiness offered his deep gratitude to the government and people of India for their warm and generous hospitality and remarked India's potential in contributing to the development of the whole world. A Tibetan woman, Kelsang Dolma, among the 121 recently detained from Za Unpo, is reported to be in critical condition. Chinese police officials of Shirchul County, where the Tibetans are detained, have denied permission for Kelsang Dolma, aged around 50s, to seek medical admission to the hospital. Dukden Ki of Human Rights Desk, Department of Information and International Relations, Central Tibetan Administration, expressed concerns over the deteriorating situation in the region. The Chinese uh, authorities, instead of um, tr you know, providing treatment and medical care, um, has subjected her uh, to detention and she continues to be in the detention center as of now. Um, so we do not have the exact information of what condition she is suffering. Um, however, um, it is concerning uh, to hear that, um, you know, Kesan uh, Juma, for short, she is more known as Kadu in her region, um, uh, has been refused uh, the permission to um, seek medical treatment from another hospital instead of the county hospital. Um, where the uh, where the uh, officials at the county hospital have uh, you know said that they they couldn't guarantee whether they will be able to treat her um, so after that when the permission was sought for uh, to for her to seek treatment in another hospital uh, that was refused so as per the international human rights law um, including the universal declaration on human rights and International Covenant on Civil and Political Right, which China has signed and ratified. Um, you know, specifically in Article 9 of these two um, law, in the human rights laws, says that no one shall be subjected to arbitrary arrest or detention. So it is very clear that the arrest of around 120 Tibetans um, by the Chinese officials in Zhao is completely against international law. Sikyong Pemba Siring concluded his visit to the five schools under the Central Tibetan School Administration and meetings with high officials in India's capital. On Monday this week, Sikyong met with the Joint Secretary of the Ministry of Education, Government of India, Srimati Lam Chong Goy Sweety Changsen, and concerned officials of Central Tibetan School Administration in New Delhi. They discussed the key procedures for the transfer of CTSA schools that are yet to be transferred to the Samboda Tibetan School Society under Education Department, Central Tibetan Administration. Sikyong also paid a visit to Honorable Law Minister Sri Kiran Rijiju on the same day. During his visit to CST schools in Herbertpur, Masuri, Kalimpong and Darjeeling, Sikyong reviewed the predicament of the Tibetan schools, especially the schools under CTSA, and prompted the necessary need for the transition. 
Sikyong noted that his visit was to access the current situation of the five remaining CTSA schools and also to interact with the concerned staff of these schools to understand their perspectives and suggestions. Sikyong also visited various Tibetan centers in the region such as the Tibetan Refugee Self-Help Center, Tibetan Medical Institute in Chakpuri, and Manjushri Center of Tibetan Culture. Sikyong assured to render complete cooperation and support toward these centers. A group of UN experts have jointly questioned China about the cases of disappeared Tibetan monks Go Sherab Gyatso and Rinchen Tsultrim from Ngaba in Amdo, eastern Tibet. The UN Working Group have jointly called China to provide information about the whereabouts of Go Sherab Gyatso urgently and asked legal grounds for the arrest, detention and sentencing of Rinchen Tsultrim in the communication transmitted to China. A Tibetan Buddhist scholar, Go Sherab Gyatso, was arrested at Chengdu in Sichuan province on 26 October 2020. Since then, his well-being and whereabouts remain unknown. Go Sherab Gyatso has published several books on Tibetan philosophy and culture and the monastic education system. The other Tibetan monk, Rinchen Sultrim from Nangxing Monastery in Ngaba, was held in incommunicado detention since he was arbitrarily arrested by Chinese officials of Ngaba Public Security Bureau on 27 July 2019. It was only on 23rd March 2021, information surfaced that he was sentenced to four and a half years in prison. The information about the charges against him, the trial date and the court where the trial took place continued to remain unknown. For the first time ever, the results of a series of unique psychophysiological and physiological studies in the Buddhist Tibetan monasteries in the south of India were presented at the IOP 2021 World Congress of Psychophysiology on Thursday last week. World-renowned researcher of meditation practices, Dr. Richard J. Davidson, Professor Swetaslav Medvedev, Dr. Tony Didwell, Tenzing Loden, Tibetan astro science practitioner of Mensikang, and Dr. Nawang Jimpa, Mensikang Dharamshala, presented their research report at the symposium. An international symposium titled Psychophysiology of Meditations that attracted participants from the Russia, the USA, and India was held as part of the Congress. Office of Tibet, Washington, D.C. convened the 19th North America Tibetan Association Conference. The conference that was attended by the presidents and secretaries of 15 Tibetan associations based in the USA saw discussions on the issues related to His Holiness's health and safety, including an offering of Tenshuk. It also drew political strategies for rallies, protest, and advocacy to expose the PRC's assimilationist policy environmental destruction and abuse of human rights in Tibet. Congressman Ben McAdam and Congressman Chris Stewart assured their full support for Tibet at the 19th North America Tibetan Associations Conference from 4th to 6th September 2021. Secretary Tashi Dundub of Washington's Office of Tibet requested for Professor Andreas Pinkwart, Minister of Economic Affairs Support, to persuade the Chinese leadership about the win-win proposal of the Middle Way approach and urged his intervention for resumption of the dialogue with the representative of His Holiness the Dalai Lama to resolve Tibet's issue. The ministry assured to do his best. Secretary Tashi attended a discussion on megatrends in the 21st century at the Willard Intercontinental Hotel on Wednesday this week. Around 40 participants from different organizations and embassies attended the event. The event was organized by Friedrich Norman and American Institute for Contemporary German Studies. In celebration of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's 71st birthday, a free COVID vaccination drive and testing at Maklod Ganj Dharamshala this morning was organized by Tibetan Delic Hospital in collaboration with Rotary Club Dharamshala, Indo-Tibetan Friendship Association, Kynpen and Tibetan Settlement Office Dharamshala. Additional District Commissioner was present at the site as a chief guest accompanied by Chief Medical Officer, District Health Officer and Immunization Officer. On the day of 71st birthday of our Prime Minister, the NGOs have organized a medical camp and free vaccination for the people over here. So that is the reason I have came here. 
I wish all the best for them and whatever, if there is any lack of vaccination, the administration will be providing it. So much for this week. See you next time and have a good weekend.